chemicals all in my veins Feeling all the highs, feel all the pain Good morning, girls. Uh, I got a box from Heather, a box of goodies. So today we're going to play with the box of goodies and create a look. Um, I have a little bit of lipstick on now because I was playing with the makeup. All right. First, we're going to start with Laura Mercier Wheat. I'm sure all of you have seen this before. I have never had owned this. And I'm going to start with the eyes first. I'm thinking this was in a response to uh, my running out of my Christian Dior uh, Perfect Mono Eye Color in Nude. That's a good canvas to work on, right? Now I'm going to do the other one. We're gonna we're gonna do the same thing on both eyes. How about that? So what did y'all do over the weekend? I'm trying to think what I did. Oh, I did uh, a prom makeup on Saturday. Sunday we went to church, and I came home and took a nap because. I didn't sleep the night before. I'm not sure whether it's Taco moving about in the bed or uh, I don't know. I'm cutting off my snacking at night earlier. So I don't know. You know, I'm eating dinner and then just cutting it off. I'm trying to be through with all of my eating by six and not having any more calories after six. All right. Um, <clears throat> so that was the, head, uh, that was the, that was the Laura Mercier in wheat. And I don't know what the product, I'll put the name of the product, the exact name of the product there. I also have a Natasha Denona palette. This is the colors in it. So let's give this a go. I'm going to take the creamy color and I'll put that all over my lids. I don't know what the neighbor's doing over there. It sounds like he's been banging ladders for the past 45 minutes. Now I'm going to take this terracotta looking color and put that in my crease. Or just above my crease since my eyes are so deep set. They seem a little more deep set this morning. I wonder how much, as I get older, I wonder how much more deep set they can get. The consistency of these shadows. I would, they're, uh, I'm trying to, well, they're matte, first of all, so they're not, you know how some of the uh, shadows feel like they have a lot of oil or something in them, they may, it makes them gooey. These don't feel gooey. I'm going to get a clean brush. 
whoever's been using my brushes, whoever used my brushes last didn't clean them up. The geese are out there cutting, cutting up. I'm assuming that they're mating. What? Oh, and it's raining here, so I didn't bother to do a do. This is a this is a messy top knot. All right, so I have a brush, and I'm going to take the green in this palette and put it in the outside corner. Sounds like the golf cart. Doesn't that sound like the reverse thing on the golf cart? A lot of people in this neighborhood. Y'all, that's nothing new. You know, it's not particular to here, but there's a lot of golf carts in the neighborhood. The uh, metallic shadow is a little more emoli or moist, I would say. It does, it's not as dry, of course, as the matte, as the mattes. Uh, the metallic green one is a little tougher to blend. So I'm gonna place it I'm going to place it where I want it and then I get a fluffy brush and, and try to blend it. That's what we have so far. And I'm going to use that white that I used before to do it. Or the cream color. Let's see what the name of the cream color is. It looks like it says flamingo. I don't know why that's called flamingo. That doesn't make any sense to me. It's called Pina. This one's called Sandstorm. This one's called Arizona. I can see that. But this one being called Flamingo. This one being called Umber, I can understand. I won't judge. I don't know. Maybe it reflects pink. It doesn't reflect pink. I don't know what the... I do not know why it's that. And then I'm going to take that, uh, what they, they're calling sandstorm, I'm going to put that here. To be perfectly honest, I'd say this, these are a little hard to work with. All right, let's move on. I'm going to take, this is uh, something else she sent me. It's Shu Umera. It is white gold. Can't see it in the plastic. It's a single. I'm going to put that on the, on the, lid.
Let's do a black liner. I'm going to take my Tom Ford eye defining pen. I like the thin side. I'm going to put that down in my lashes as close as possible. All right, I have my eyeliner on. There's no point in doing an in-depth toot of that. Everybody, all the uh, people that y'all watch has, have one of those. Um, I'm going to take this Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is from the I think this is a highlight replacement for a, a palette, and the color is sand. I'm gonna put that up here underneath my brow with this uh, E45 brush. It's got a it's got a point on it. There we go. There we go. There we go. Let's work on the brows. I have a new brow powder. Let me see if I can look. Here it is. This color, it, it's a MAC. It's in a MAC shadow thing, and it's called Join My League. And it's this color. It's an ashy brown. I'm going to use this as my brow powder. I'm going to see if I can correct <clears throat> what's going on here. That's called In My League. I am going to use the Nude Eye Pencil by Makeup Geek in my waterline. Let's go ahead and do a primer and foundation. I'm going to use this primer. It's called Coconut. This is First Aid Beauty, and this is Coconut Skin Smoothie Primer Moisturizer. We're going to put that on first. I'm going to use a pea size amount. It sets up quick. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation in the color 3 Fair. And I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury brush. And yes, it still sheds. I put a dot it all over, get it all mixed, all uh, evenly distributed. And then I'm going to buff it in. So Taco's starting to feel his normal self again. He um, is noticing people on the back path. 
you know, other other dogs and he's starting to kick up dirt behind him and try to intimidate other dogs on the back path. So I'm thinking he's feeling, and I haven't given him any pain meds probably since Thursday night. And his appetite seems good. His pain meds did, however, constipate him, and that's a alarming Pat a little bit. But I think his, uh, his fresh breath, clean teeth chewies have enzymes in them, and I think those will get him moving. And everything will be cool. And I think a little, a little walk would help. We haven't been on any walks either. And I was planning on taking him today, but it's raining. That's a really light foundation, isn't it? And I have a dark spot up here that decided to resurface. I'm thinking it's because I've been sitting in the sun. All right, I have one lash on and I'm going to put the other one on. I'll show you the package in a second. Just lower them in there to the center. Tuck down the front. Tuck down the back. And this is the brand. They're Eye Lure. They're number 101 Natural Lights. Now, I'm going to go back in and add some more of this green. And this is a pencil brush by Morphe. It's a M168. I'm bringing this uh, green shadow around to meet the wing on this outside and then taking it above it above the wing on the other side All right, let's put on our under eye concealer. My under eye concealer uh, is in the it's in my makeup kit, so I'm going to use the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. The color I use in this is brightener. Put it there, there. there and there. I'm going to take my favorite uh, concealer brush by e.l.f. It's called the Flawless Concealer Brush. I don't shop at Target very often. But I think that's where I got this. Why do I not shop at Target very often? 
Uh, I don't know. I guess if I'm going to shop for um, inexpensive stuff, that I don't mind it being inexpensive stuff, I'm going to do it at Walmart. And then if I'm going to buy nice stuff, then I'm probably going to, you know, for clothes, I'm going to buy, buy it off Shopbop. Shopbop and Nordstrom is where I buy most of my stuff. All right, now let's do mascara. I'm gonna take the uh, Tarte Lights Camera Lashes and coat these bottom lashes real good. I used to shop at um, Walmart all the, I mean, Target a lot when Colin, my youngest one, was still at home because he liked to browse the toys and he also liked uh, graphic tees and they have cute graphic tees. They have good um, candles. They have good bedding. I think I, I don't know where I bought the boys bedding. Probably Walmart. Because they would stain it, you know. Do art pro, whatever kind of projects. I don't know what kind of projects they do. Boys don't do art pro, well mine didn't. Well, Patrick did, Patrick did art projects. I think Colin had a tiny little welding kit or something, and he would burn stuff in his room a lot. All right, let's uh, set the lower. I'm gonna use the La Mer. So, Pat and I watched the uh, uh, American Idol last night. I would say they have absolutely no talent this time. Don't y'all think it sucks? Or are y'all not even bothering to look at it? All right, let's do a highlight. I have a chubby stick here by Clinique and it's called Hefty Highlight. Hefty, hefty, hefty. Hefty, hefty, hefty. I drew it on, I went back and forth a few times. And I'm trying to get it to meld into my skin. Uh, I was thinking I wanted to do a, a festival look. I've been inspired to do a festival look by some of the stuff I've seen on YouTube. Do y'all want to do, do a festival look just for fun? I know you won't do it, but do you want to see what I would do? Leave it in the comments if you want to see a festival look. All right, that's pretty. Let's do a blush. Ooh. I better powder over that. That might make my blush stick. You know what I mean? Because it's kind of moist. This is my powder brush. It's a Sonia Kashuk. And I'm sure it has some powder left in it from the last time. Okay, this is pretty vulgar. 
This is also from, most of this stuff I'm using is from Heather. And it's called Hush Blush. It's number 18. I would say it's a neutral. Okay, when it goes on, it, it does lean a little pe uh, peach. Peachy, peachy pink. It's not, I'd say it's neutral. It's even, even amounts of warm and cool, I would say. Yeah, I should, I don't know what I should have done. That, uh, highlights making the blush grab. Alright, now I'm going to do a, um... A bronzer, a contour. What shall we use for that? Let's, let's use the Anastasia Beverly Hills. I haven't used this in a while. And I'm going to use a Sigma makeup uh, foundation brush. It's F60. I'm going to use that to draw this out. Yes, all of this is in an odd order because I'm winging it. We're trying out stuff that I've never used before, that I received from Heather, and stuff that I haven't used of mine in a while. I kind of like that. Right? Oh, I messed up the highlight on my nose. I'm using the darkest one in this palette. I think this palette's the medium one. It's the cream contour kit. Yeah, it's the medium one. <sighs> A concealer brush that I used before and run it. It probably has some uh, leftover concealer in it. I do that and that. And then I always like to do this line across here. All right, let's do a bronzer to heat up the warm up the whole face and I'm going to use an oldie, a, a tried and true favorite Ritual by Laura Mercier and I'm going to put a lot of this in my receding hairline I am still on the uh, Dr. Bird hair loss formula and the um, the collagen peptides or whatever they're called in that blue canister. You can get it from Amazon or Whole Foods which I understand is one and the same now.
There. There, there, there. Now let's do a lip. I have, actually I'm going to use the uh, Anastasia Eyebrow Gel. Does anybody own the Benefit Clear Eye Eyebrow Gel? Do you like it? Is it really stiff? I like it really stiff. That's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Eyebrow Gel. Okay, this lipstick is by Makeup Forever. This is Makeup Forever uh, Rouge Artist Natural in N9. I would say N would be neutral. It feels uh, sheer. All right, is there anything else I can experiment with? Oh, this is uh, pretty vulgar, and I think the name is My Lips Are Sealed, and it's very metallic. So I'm only putting it up here. I have a Charlotte Tilbury makeup brush fuzzy. All right. I wouldn't say that that added much. It did add a little highlight to the top lip, right? All right. I'm going to take a stiff concealer brush. It's going to be a pretty look for the gym, isn't it? Let's powder the whole thing down. Where did I put the... I'm going to use the Estee Lauder. Renutrif powder. To set this whole up. Now let's do a setting spray, and I'm going to use the uh, MAC Prep and Prime, and I, the Fix Plus, and I think this is the coconut flavor one. <clears throat> then I'm going to fan it dry. And I have some dots on my face. Let's straighten that out. There's one right there. Oh, there's another one. I hope you enjoyed this video. I had fun making it for you. Uh, I'll prob I didn't use all the things that Heather sent. 
but I will present them as I pull them out of the box and incorporate them in a look of the day.